It's 20 years on, but a veteran Perth police officer remains haunted by the hostage ordeal that ended with a deadly confrontation. Dennis Perridge was held at gunpoint for seven hours when a man took control of police headquarters. In an exclusive interview with Nine News, the retired officer revealed his biggest regret. It's, it's not as if, you know... You can block that out and say, oh, it never, it never happened, you know, it's, it's something you live with. He was confronted by the TRG in this location. Ray Gould's body was riddled with bullets. There were bullet holes in the wall yeah, was, there. That was yeah. there for, for a long time. And you still remember it like it was? Oh, yeah, like it was yesterday, yeah, yeah. The 24th of October 1994, Dennis Perich was four hours into his shift when Ray Gould walked into Central Police Station on Hay Street armed with a shotgun. Standing in the middle of the central office in the Central Police Station was uh, this fellow in a, uh, a Cobra hat and a dry as a bone coat. And he's got this firearm pointed straight at me. You're staring down the barrel of a gun. What's going through your mind at that stage? <laughs> well, initially a million things go through your mind, you know, where, you know, apart from the, the fact of just the sheer fear of it, you know, where thinking, you know, are you going to survive, you know? Will you see your family again? Will you see your friends, you know? Up to 10 officers were held captive. Dennis Perich was the most senior. He convinced Gould to release the others, leaving him as the sole hostage for the lone gunman. When you're actually negotiating for your own life, you know it's, it's a different ball game. In the seven and a half hours with Gould, Perich found common ground with his captor. They were both fathers, except Gould was estranged from his family. Have you managed to make any contact with Ray Gould's family at all? No, uh, and I suppose, I suppose out, out of this incident, one of the regrets of it that I haven't been able to. For me personally, it's sad because I, uh, you know, I, I shared certainly his you know, love for these kids. You know, he. Uh, he, he constantly spoke very highly and how he missed them and, and, and the love he had for them. Gould was a man on a mission. He wanted to be killed by police. It's one of Australia's most notorious suicide by cop cases. Do you think it could have been handled differently? <sighs> did, did I want him to die? No. no, no you know, I, I would have you know, loved it for him to, to lay down his firearm and, and, and surrender and, and without any injuries being done. For 20 years, Dennis Perich has fought post-traumatic stress, but it didn't stop him from doing his job. He was back at work just months after the siege, his 44-year career wrapping up this year. Your mind's a very powerful tool, so, you know, yeah, the memory will always be there, you know. Tracy Vaux, Nine News.